O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. My trust is in you, O Lord. I have said you are my God. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. We glory in your cross, O Lord, and praise and glorify your holy resurrection, for by the virtue of the cross, joy has come to the world. Give judgment for me, O God, and defend my cause against an ungodly people. Deliver me from the deceitful and the wicked, for you are the God of my refuge. Why have you cast me from you? And why go I so heavily while the enemy oppresses me? O oh, send out your light and your truth, that they may lead me. And bring me to your holy hill and to your dwelling, that I may go to the altar of God, to the God of my joy and gladness. And on the lyre I will give thanks to you, O God, my God. Why are you so full of heaviness, O my soul? And why are you so disquieted within me? O oh, put your trust in God. For I will yet give him thanks, who is the help of my countenance and my God. Come, create a spirit, light and truth. Bring us to the altar of life and renew our joy and gladness in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to St. Mark. Jesus began to teach his disciples that the Son of Man must undergo great suffering, and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed, and after three days rise again. He said all this quite openly. And Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. But turning and looking at his disciples, he rebuked Peter and said, Get behind me, Satan, for you are setting your mind not on divine things, but on human things. He called the crowd with his disciples and said to them, If any want to become my followers, let them deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. Well, those who want to save their life will lose it, and those who lose their life for my sake and for the sake of the gospel will save it. For the word of the Lord, thanks be to God. Let us pray. Just bring to mind all those who are on our hearts just now. Our families and our friends whom we cannot meet with. Loved ones near and far. Hold them in your loving mercy, O Lord. Pray for all those who are emergency workers. All those on the front line, those deemed essential who risk their lives to save everyone else's every day. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us as we ask you to fill their hearts with your love, their minds with your strength, their hands with their healing, with your healing powers. We pray your blessings on all who are lonely 
and even more so at this time. People who live alone, people who have no family. If you ask with your creativity that we may find ways to support them in mind, body and spirit. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for all those whom this time is creating financial hardship. People whose businesses are suffering. People whose livelihoods are cut off. We pray that through this time our government has wisdom and compassion. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. And we pray for all those who are dying and for those who have died. May they know the peace of your presence. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Most merciful God, who by the death and resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, delivered and saved the world, grant that by faith in him who suffered on the cross, we may triumph in the power of his glory. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May Christ our Saviour give us peace. Amen.